Tim's Rally and in Wimbledon in Norfolk. Uh, weather's a bit overcast, ne never going to complain. Brian's here. He's just been today anyway, but yesterday he had a, uh, was it MD8 Penny, so it was quite a nice wind. Right, Brian's just coming over again, he said he's got a good signal, so Mr. Jeremy Nuts. signal so now I'm gonna have a little bit and I'll do a live one. So seems a good signal. So you never know. Could catch up with Brian's hammy count. I'm very much there. So let's have a look. Uh, no, it looks like I've got a button as well. So here he comes again. Yeah. Just a button. Not just a button. It's an old button. It was lost. It's hidden treasure. Not getting too much on this field at the moment. A bit quiet. Here is some more fields. We've got fields over the road there. This field's quite a large field. We've got fields going back. Got people in the distance with orange shirts, but there's fields behind that, past the campsite. There's more fields going back down the road. So uh, I think there's about 750 acres in total, he said we had. So a lot of fields. So. Right, it looks like a fancy. too hard, I'd rather just give it a wash later. It's a pendant of some description. So Brian's gonna come over for a nice day. So I'm not exactly certain what it is as I'll give it a wash later. Any ideas Brian? <laughs> Beats your common amies, doesn't it? <laughs> Right, we've got Steve and Gary, both arguing what the, their YouTube <laughs> channel is called. Is underground, it, overground, it, I don't know. Underground, uh, overground. Pair of wombles to me, these two, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Gary's found a, a, medieval, pendant. a medieval pendant. So, uh, More hanger, not too short. Yes, but that's it so far. Not a lot found in these fields. Far end has been a few hammered found, I've been told. But unfortunately, we've not had much joy ourselves. Oh, yeah, we've got. Something else here. Another bit of rubbish. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. No idea. Part of a buckle, maybe. Mm. Silver to that side. Don't know. Don't know. Bronze Age axe head. <laughs> <laughs> Been melted for long. Wishing. Wishful thinking. <laughs> there are chances, a pair of them. That's what I reckon. <laughs> Dejected Brian's walking up. We've been showing all our holes off to each other, Brian. You not found anything? We found loads. <laughs> no, is it? I socialise as well. Right, now we're in the afternoon session. Weather's all that, which has been excellent. So Brian's had a signal. He said it was a bit of foil. So it's a gasket of some description. But there we go. This is for a couple of minutes. Brian's got something. He thinks it may be coins, coinage. So, uh, no, it's hollow. Oh, hollowage. Okay. <laughs> right, I've got a signal here. Probably going to end up being foil or something, I reckon. Is it it? Somewhere. Still in here. Oh. Not 
certain what that is. Don't know. I think that's another one for the flow. Looks like a like a, a small brooch of some description. Well, it's got an acorn shape. It's uh, quite interesting. So, strange, really. You come to places like this and you really expect to be inundated with finds. Obviously, not the case. Just wishful thinking, I believe. Uh, there is some finds coming up. I've not spoken to too many people, but there is some more. Normally, I'm running backwards and forwards to this man over here, or he's running backwards and forwards to me, telling me of all the finds he's getting. But unfortunately, today they're not getting so many. But however, some of the finds that I've seen so far come out have been pretty good, good quality. If I remember where it was. So. see that it's more or less sitting at 1225 on the CTX it's saying it's approximately three inches down so let's have a go keep my fingers crossed now my luck it's going to be lead but I hope it's in the first bit Right, hold on. Very fine coinage. Looks like a coin. Got a bit of silver on the edge. I'm going to touch it too much at the moment. Let's get my trusty magnifying glass back. Hopefully you can see it there. But it's probably a button. Yeah, it's looking more like on the button. Yeah, I think it's definitely a button. It's part of a shank there. Right, just said so that I'm from and it's just come up with a beautiful little Roman here. Uh, I can't give you too much detail because obviously you know I haven't got a macro on this. However, it's got Romulus and Remus. If, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there. Uh, you can see them under the wolf, so that's an excellent coin. Also, he's got an excellent Amma coin. Now, I've never seen this one before. Now, Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Now if I turn it around, I think it may be Alfred or Alfred. It might be Alfred actually. It's a stunning coin. Let's try and get around so you can see the head. That is one stunning coin. Lucky man. Well done. I stayed on four o'clock on the Saturday. Uh, come to another field, still boiling hot. Clouds look a bit overcast, so but you never know. Don't think it's gonna rain, as it's saying in the forecast. This overcast rain, uh, myself, not got much else. Uh, Sinky hasn't got much else, Brian. So, just been to the flow office, and what I did have the little acorn and the other thing, what I thought was this. Uh, Saw pummel is correct, not pummel. The saw component it is a strap end. So I've got two strap end. They reckon they're like mid 1600s, so that makes them 17th century. So I'm well happy with that. Right, Brian's just shouted me over. I think he may have had something half decent to show up. So he's got a smile on his face. It's not an Ami, is it? Is it an Ami? Yes. Any ideas on that one? Not yet. It's definitely a hammy. Uh, two hammies in a weekend. Bloody hell. Yeah. Final day of the dig at w Wimden. <laughs> Windham. It's spelt Windaman, but it's Windham. But we're still with a dynamic duo. Gary and Steve, so. Yeah. Oh, that was nice actually, that was good, yeah. So, there's been some really good finds been made up here though, like Saxon, Roman, not by us though, so. But, they've been, it's, been, it's been really good, enjoyed the rally, so. Fingers crossed, catch up these gents again soon in the near future. I'm not inviting Brian though. 
We've already decided. <laughs> you know, we don't want him finding Roman and stuff. Wiltshire, play Wiltshire, playing with a white horse. Yeah. So it sounds good. Right, we're now coming to the end of the rally. It's, uh, well, it's the end of the rally for me and Brian, that'll be. Got an eight hours plus journey home, so it's been a lovely weather. I've actually got sunburnt on my legs, so I haven't to wear jeans today. Still quite warm. Been dry. We had one night of rain, but dried up extremely quick. And there's been some really exciting finds found. There's been Ethelred the Unready, King Canute, quite a lot of Roman, uh, silver and bronze, strap ends. The other reason I mentioned them because I've found a couple. Uh, Brian's had a, a couple of good Amis. He's had the little Elizabeth. I think it might be an half groat, and then he's had the Emily the Eighth. Uh, so there's a few good ones there. It's been a long weekend, but I've enjoyed it and really look forward to coming back to another one of Kim's digs. Uh, with their digs, I must admit, they're very well set up, very well organised. You're made welcome. Uh, campsite was excellent, facilities were good. So, got no complaints at all. So, really look forward to coming to the next one. Appreciate you watching the video, stay tuned and catch you again soon. Gary, being a nice gentleman that he is, shut it, it. <laughs> being a nice gentleman he is, and a wind up merchant, show me his part of a hammer that he found, which was an Eddie Penny, which is one that is on my bucket list, as he's quite aware of, and I sort of and put it between my fingers and I broke it. And he's broke my hammer. <laughs> and he said the bill's in the post, so. Apologies, and I feel quite humble here. <laughs> Don't be honestly, mate. It was absolutely look, look at look at him. Look, he's livid. He's it's livid. Not, it's absolutely fine. It was. It was. <laughs> I found it in totally embarrassed.